excited to see if they can carry this on into regional form now against a team Singularity who have also won the grid in recent memories. In fact, Dignitas took Singularity's crown. Uh, and, and there's a team seeing improvements as well. Great to see Scrub Killer back in the goals, back to his self and to see Breezy and Hibs finding some of that autumn full form again. It's, it's wonderful. And so we've got two teams on the rise, Jam. It sets up for a fascinating series, and I certainly hope we get what the Doctor has ordered. Well, for Team Singularity, it's going to be a hard-fought battle in their series versus White Demons. Every single game, with the exception of that one game that White Demons won uh, without allowing Singularity to score a single goal, every single other game was a one-goal affair for Team Singularity. And it, and it feels like against the team, the caliber of Dignitas, especially Dignitas on form, just one goal games will not be enough still though when in the opening minute it seems to be a bit of a traditional back and forth with no team immediately taking any form of control which is fair enough but it's not like it's a static game in the midfield both teams looking to pull punches and the majority of the punches so far coming from Dignitas, so you'd have to say early doors, them looking to be in the ascendancy. Downfield by apparently Jack is going to reach the backboard, Scrub Killer to get that touch, here comes Violent Panda onto the scene. Scrub Killer will take control on the sidewall before Joriot stops it at the mid. Hips to come to challenge, and he wins the challenge as well, plenty of clearance on that. And back to square one for Panda. The flick over one, the pass to Joriot, looking for that second touch, but before Jack can reach the scene, it's away, a counter-attack, Scrub Killer, off the wall, Panda hands it off effectively to Hibbs, but is able to make up for it with a save. Not able to get into the midfield just now as Breezy puts it infield. Lovely pass denied by Joriots. You could see that Joriots was all prepared for that pass coming in. Team Singularity had the space to set it up. Joriots said no at the last hurdle, and quite rightly so. He was there and being was reading, reading that perfectly. Most importantly, though, Team Singularity and Dignitas showing no signs of slowing down. It feels like neither of the team is really scared of the other. And again, Dignitas should not be scared pretty much of any team, especially Team Singularity at this point. But there's definitely respect and there's definitely an attempt to play at the pace that both teams are feeling comfortable at. And that's how we're getting this exciting movement. There's, there's no stopping. All of it is just constant rotation, constant ball movement. No goals, but hey, it's still some beautiful rock play. Breezy infield, and that was going straight on target if it was for Panda. Breezy around the corner, it's open net, maybe Hibbs fires it, but fires it wide, it ricochets out again. And Dignitas get away with one infield, it's Joritz now down to the midfield, but where is the receiving player? The answer is nowhere, they had to go back for boost, but they move forward again with apparently Jack Breezy, nice light touch, keeps control into the midfield. Hibbs up high, up first, gets the touch and has a bit more boost to expend as he carries it into the orange half, down to apparently Jack. Scrub Killer on the scene is, again, manages to deceive Jack actually on that one. Round the corner at that as well. The Violent Panda and Juris do enough to get it into the midfield. Onwards, it's not going to reach the net. It was going high anyway. And still no goal with two minutes left. Both teams vying for that first. Yeah, despite the way we hyped up this matchup, the lack of a goal is starting to slowly get to me. It will make for uh, even better overtime if both of these teams go into their scoreless, quite rare result in Rocket oh. League still. There's Zorius trying to deny me that quality 0-0 overtime. That Singularity and the crossbar deny him altogether. And Dignitas, well, they're on the attack. They're on the pressure. I want to see a couple of passing plays coming out of them as well. Or perhaps just a couple of shots in quick succession. Right now, it is one shot and then there's a brief pause. As the clear comes in, as Dignitas sets up again. So there is not continuity they will be able to work with properly. Panda infield, Joris with a connection and denied by Scrub Killer. That one was certainly going on target. And certainly between the six players on the pitch, Joris looking like the most likely to put the ball in the back of the net. Violent Panda down. It's apparently Jack who decides to stay in the midfield. It's a loose touch. Scrub Killer down to Breezy. Nice infield pass denied again. Apparently Jack upfield. There's Joris upfield. Can he redirect this on towards net? And apparently Jack still can't put it in. What a save. My goodness, Dignitas had all the cards in their hand. And here, Violent Panda is trying to sneak an ace in there as well, but not to be Team Singularity with all of the players just trying to mightily push it away. And then look at how quickly the counterattack from Team Singularity starts. It is not enough and will only be in the middle of the field. Dignitas will be setting up for yet another attack. 20 seconds for them to get something done in regulation time. This has the sort of game where one team is incredibly dominant and then the other team sucker punches them all 
over it. I just get this horrible feeling for Dignitas that all of these chances are going to be put to rest and the other team's going to go up the other side of the field and wake them up as if it was not just, you know, coming out of a good dream, but going into a horrible nightmare. It's overtime nonetheless as Yorius was looking to break. That is a lovely pass over to the man in question. Shoots wide though, everyone back on the line for singularity. Violent Panda can only stop Scrub Killer at the mid and finally reached into the blue half by Yorius himself again. Hibs underneath him. Violent Panda for the challenge. He wins the challenge, but it's into no man's land. Scrub Killer with a boomer downfield looking for Hibs. The redirect, it goes into the backboard. No second touch, Scrub Killer on net. And apparently Jack with another big save. He wins that challenge. It's onto the blue backboard now. Needs a touch from Scrub Killer. He gets a touch. Yoritz around the corner. Backboard. Violent Panda's there. Stops the ball. Beautiful chance for Dignitas. And it's put away by apparently Jack. 1-0 Dignitas in the game and the series. They needed 39 seconds, but they'll get the job done. Breezy Hibbs goes for the scene ball on the backboards. That's a double commit in my box and do not get anything out of it. Dignitas still keep the ball in position they want, drop it down and get themselves the game. Saves for Team Singularity almost going into double digits. You yeah. could see that that pressure from Dignitas, 10 shots, nine of them saved, but there was one shot that they couldn't and that was the all important difference maker. For Dignitas, this has not been an easy game. For Team Singularity, especially this has not been an easy game, but it seems like we might see yet another incredibly close series with the battle mostly happening midfield, close to the net, but not necessarily with the amount of goals. Nobody's chasing each other for goals. Teams are going to be playing that tactical play style. And again, another change from what we've seen today. We've seen some slow games. We've seen some just previous series, Rig GG versus Solary. I felt like still this was a combination and a competition between two very different play styles. And right here, we saw teams that I feel like if you just lay them out end to end, might be playing quite a similar style of Rocket League. And hence the difference in the score at the end. And what I love about, I know you were saying it was a double commit at the end there, but uh, credit has to go to Violent Panda for having the confidence to move up and make that block in the first place. Without that block, the double commit doesn't really matter because the clear comes through anyway. And so we went from a game where early doors, it seemed pretty even, to Dignitas running the show. And I think deservedly getting the win in the end there. It was a close affair, of course. And a lot of credit has to be given to Singularity's defense for holding on as long as it did. Uh, and as much as defense can win you championships, though, you do need to go down the other end and score a goal. Something that Singularity have not done in the five and a half minutes that we have seen of gameplay so far. Into game number two then. And it seems about as even as the beginning of game number one. Scrub Killer taking control in the midfield and only has Violent Panther to be. It's now Hibbs who is not able to deceive Yorius. Great read, great save from the man who's usually up the other end of the pitch doing the business. And a flick from apparently Jack relieves the pressure. Where is oh, Scrub Killer? Wasn't at home. And goodness me, Singularity get away with that one on Tuesday. What did Violet Panther do? He contorted his shell to be able to reach this ball. It's a light touch. He wins the ball and he effectively dooms. He dishes the entire team. What a goal. What a start for Dignitas. Violent Panda twists himself into a loop. Uh, I, th I think we need like a technical pause for Violent Panda to currently untangle himself because the amount of touches, the speed with which he has recovered and the angle that he took at the end, 360. I feel like this is one of those sh kind of shots. Team Singularity almost got away with it, but not enough. It seems like Stigmatas just caught the whole defense sleeping or were just changing maybe. And that's not he want to be on the field against Dignitas in such an important game. And especially not when Dignitas are on the rise. Welp, that's where Team Singularity is a chance. Oh my goodness. As it goes begging. Oh, you've got to feel for Scrub. That looked all but on target. And that would have been a great response for Singularity. It's another great opportunity as Scrub Killer doinks it towards the backboard. It's a nice touch from Violent Panda into the midfield. And Singularity in real trouble now. The Dignitas from the last two weeks has most certainly come to play. The question is, are we going to see the rising Singularity that we love to see here in the RLCS coming to play as well? You get the impression that if anyone is going to break the tide for them, it will be Scrub Killer. Not to say that Hibs and Breezy aren't capable themselves. Violent Panda, great block from Scrub Killer. Panda gets a hit on Hibs 
and that completely stops the momentum of this Singularity attack. Yoritz goes up the other side, flip resets, another save from Scrub Killer comes out, and as we approach half time, still good opportunities here for Singularity. They shouldn't be disheartened, Jam, but the more shots on net that are either saved or go off the crossbar or, you know, are, are denied before they even reach effectively the, the, the danger zone of that uh, penalty box square, they're going to be getting inside their own heads and thinking, what on earth do we need to do to get past this defense? I'm, I'm still of the opinion that Team Singularity is one of those teams that performs the best when things are really going their way. So they play on a high. While the moment something does not go their way, the the some sort of... A, not complacency is completely the wrong word in this case, but some sort of uh, just mental block goes their way and all of a sudden they just can't work with it. And that's what I think what you were partly alluding to. The fact that it gets into their heads. Now it's becoming hard, but Hibbs, well, he had an angle, all right. Apparently Jack had a better one. And the dig defense digs it out. Into the midfield. Who's going to get there first? It'll be Hibbs on the scene. Round the corner to intercept will be apparently Jack. And he picks up the ball again. Violent Panda with the boomer downfield. They're quite happy to hold on to this 1-0 lead if it means that they go on to match point scenario. It's another aimless clearance from Singularity. Is breezy. Lovely touch. Flicks it up. Is Hibs going to get there first? Yes, but Joris gets the block. Panda. Lovely little pop-up. I'm oh, sorry, Panda is Jack. My apologies. Uh, Joris into the midfield. It's a block and maybe Singularity get away. Joris only hands it back to Breezy. He tries to block the purple Fennec. And that's a lovely bit of control from Breezy. You can see flying in was Scrub Killer. It was a nice idea. Just again, not executed on well. 60 seconds left for Singularity to find their first goal of the series. Boy, do they need it at this point. <laughs> They're looking for something. And again, with their previous series being low on goals, knowing how tough of a cookie Dignitas is to crack, it's imperative that they get something going right now for their own sakes. But while that last play was well orchestrated, it just didn't have that finishing element, that crescendo, either with the first player or the second one. And it's not going to be a perfect 1-0, 1-0, anymore. Let's not call Shogun anymore. It's going to be a 2-0 for Dignitas. And it's going to be, feels like this game taking for them. While Team Singularity have been pushing, have been getting the shots, the goals have still been evading them. And with the with the attempts at to break out out of defense, with attempts to keep the player somewhere up the field so a good clear can be can find that player and maybe find a goal as a result, the Team Singularity just left their defense quite open. And shot from Joris from the middle of, the, well, the final third, basically, was the showing for that, that nobody was ready on Team Singularity to take on. We always love to see our best boys sub bar in HD in chat. Lovely to see you, lads, and welcome to a series which has gone from, well, a, a very even contest in the first minute in game one to Dignitas domination. Singularity have been well and truly put away in game number two. No need for overtime on this one as the clock hits zero. There's no way, sadly, for them that you can score two goals in zero seconds, let alone one for a buzzer beater. And Dignitas move on to game number three, confident in the knowledge that one more win will see them on match point. Interesting for me, Jam, to see Dignitas with less shots overall than their rivals. But it's what you do with the shots ultimately at the end of the day, which determines how successful you are as a team. Yoritz, Panda, Clinical, and Singularity had plenty of knocks on the door, but well, Dignitas just pretended that they weren't at home, and so Singularity never went inside. <laughs> and it feels to me that same Singularity just were not able to get the right touches, and the really the uh, large amount of touches either. Their score seems to suggest that really the ball has been mostly evading them. Yes, they've been getting some shots, but when Hips takes three shots and still is under 100, it means that he really has not been getting sh touches on yeah. the ball in some other situations. Obviously, saves weren't going for him either. For Steam Singularity, there needs to be a complete revamp of their playstyle right now. There needs to be a more controlling playstyle. I'm afraid that we're going to see Team Singularity that's going to be all out and just trying to uh, bring it out on uh, either a star power of Scrub Killer or Breezy and Hips trying to remember the good old days and create something for themselves. Again, Breezy and Hips playing as a team, it's I think it's a good option for Team Singularity to take right now. I would love to see all three of them play like that. We have seen Team Singularity just recently. It's going exactly for that play style. Not just individual plays, but everyone playing for a team, for their teammate. Not thinking about a goal, thinking about a pass, thinking about how to support their uh, teammates. And that's what I feel like uh, Team Singularity was at one of their strongest points. Here, 
it is not that just yet. Well, it was pointed out to me by a friend the other day that in the year of 2021, we seem to be going a little bit retro. We see teams going back to old logos. We see restaurants going for retro logos. And I wonder whether we're going to see a return as well to days gone by when the name Dignitas was feared by anyone and everyone. Apparently, Jack didn't care how many players came in front of him to say, no, you're not scoring. He was going to score. Dignitas are going to score. It's 1-0 again. That is absolutely lovely from apparently Jack. I'm not sure, did he get a flip reset? Because he kept on flipping forever on that ball. And he was just given more and more momentum for it to move it into the net. And indeed, nobody, nobody from the side of Team Singularity could stop it. And to go down so early for Singularity means that the battle to claw the series back, not just this game, series back, this match point for Dignitas, it's going to be a tough one for Skrokkil and Co. And we are now, unfortunately, for, for Singularity's sake, in the position as well, where we've got to say that Dignitas is on the precipice of a clean sweep. Not one goal scored as of yet for Singularity. I hope for their sake that they can change it. They need to score, otherwise they are falling to the lower bracket. Breezy wins the infield challenge. Jack and now Scrub Killer up to the wall. Jack going to chase it and gets there first. Infield to Panda. Lovely light touch. Unfortunately for him, just goes a little bit too wide. An extension to 2-0. And you've got to be fearing even more for Singularity across the field. Another lovely light touch from Violent Panda. Oh, silky hands on that front bumper is his. Over to Yorians. It's up high. Set up nicely for Jack. But he decides that safety is the better part of Valor. Goes back and makes a crucial interception before Singularity get an equalizer. Well, there's, there's no equalizer to, to be seen. I'm watching Scrub kill a poor guy has been without a boost for the past 20 seconds. Only now getting something, immediately using that to go for a challenge in the air and out of boost again. He's still on the attack, but only through the virtue of him being bound back into the attack. And nobody from Team Singularity is really getting a good opportunity, a good chance. Breezy dribbles straight into three waiting players of Dignitas. He's surrounded, he has no support for Team Singularity. Is there a game plan, or is it just really try to dump it and hope for the best? It feels like that's that's what they're hoping for right now, and they really need to be creating something rather than hoping for the best. Downfield, half-time. Singularity needs something, and they need something quick just for the sake of their own confidence, let alone getting back into this series. Hibs, it's again given away cheaply. Yoris with a lovely touch to the back. It's on target, would you believe? Hibs had to readjust and make the save for himself. Was probably getting plenty of calls saying, dude, you've got to save it, you've got to save it, because it didn't look like he was at first. Yorius, another challenge win, and he pops it up over Breezy. Hibbs gets a touch, but it's a weak one. Breezy actually bails him out, taking it all the way down the other side of the pitch. Oh my goodness, and almost fashioned a fantastic goal. They thought he was going for the backboard. He changed his mind. It's another shot and another massive save from Captain Panda himself. Less than two minutes now, and still dig the task looking penetrable. Wow, Dignitas have been on point with some of those saves. That was a crucial one to keep Dignitas afloat and not oh. give Team Singularity even a single opportunity to find any hope. No, the hole has been shut down. It's closed. Come again, well, tomorrow. And it seems like that's exactly what Team Singularity will have to do. Without scoring a single goal, that's going to be a rough team chat afterwards. Exactly what they're heading on towards. And Jorius and the rest of Dignitas are trying to find yet another one. Their rotations... Quite aggressive still, but it doesn't seem like Team Singularity are capable of putting the ball down the field with any sense of danger. A clear, yes, but it's not a clear down the field into the net. It's more in the corner and Dignitas always are there first to pick it up. It's a good opportunity. Oh, Breezy missed his connection. A real shame there. That could have been it for Singularity. Over into the midfield and again, these defense. Honestly, what's, what's impressing me so much about this dig roster right now is not necessarily the nature of the defensive rotations as we've got to give a, a bit of criticism here Violet Panda missing an open net it's the pace at which they go back into the defensive rotations Pff, another chance goes wide for Singularity they are fast but they're not that fast Yoris almost getting a nutty cherry pick off his own pass to the backboard but you know Singularity we've seen two Great chances here in the final minute for them to, to get an equaliser that they need as it stands. Are oh, they going to go 2-0 down? It glances across the goal mouth. 15 seconds left. 
It's got to be a full court carry. Hibbs has to again scoop it out of his own net effectively to keep Singularity alive. All close games, none of them going above a 2-0 scoreline. But the matter of fact remains, it's a clean sweep for Dignitas. 1-0, 2-0, 1-0. Clinical. I think that word perfectly encapsulates what just happened on the field. And But you could see that Dignitas was vulnerable at points. Yeah. At points, Team Singularity had Dignitas back to the wall and with no chances for Dignitas to do anything. But it's finishing for Singularity that eventually let them down. And in a series where it was 